Hi, I'm Dev Nog, CTO of Wavefront by VMware. One of the most common requests we get about Wavefront is how to do anomaly detection. Let's take a look. Here we're looking at a whole bunch of network traffic lines, and it's hard to tell what to look at, what the significant features are, but if I call your attention over to it, you might say that there's actually an interesting feature over here. This pink line seems to go up higher for a while, it comes back down. There's actually some more lines that act the same way at the same time, but it's very hard to see it. If I didn't call your attention to those lines, you might not even notice it. How would you find these things without knowing where to look? One way you might want to find these anomalies is to actually look at the highest and the lowest values, the extreme outliers of a given cluster machines. In Wavefront, that works with the top and the bottom commands. If I do that right here with the top three and bottom three commands, you can see we've pulled them out, but that's not actually what we wanted in the first place. A better way to do it is actually to use a standard deviation of each line against itself to figure out how unusual each line has become compared to its own recent history. And if I do that right here with this command, the lines pop out. You can see three lines that go up to six or seven standard deviations against their own previous history, which is great. We have now the IP addresses, the interfaces, and the machine names of the outliers. However, now we have another problem, which is that we can see the beginning of the anomalies, but not the end. This is a problem with standard deviation in general. Once you have that first crazy point, crazy becomes the norm, and you can't see the end. You have this characteristic decay of standard deviation. An even better way to look at this anomaly is something called IQR. And again, inside Wavefront, you can put together any combination you want to. Here's the combination for IQR. And if I use that, you can see the beginning and the end of the anomalies. That's just one of the ways in which Wavefront does anomaly detection. To try Wavefront out, go to wavefront.com. Click on the Get Started button at the top of that page. We'll give you a one-line install and a portfolio starting dashboards to give you value on day one.